Hi, Peter. Uh, great to have you in the um, podcast today. Um, shall we start with uh, an introduction? Uh, can you tell a bit about yourself and uh, about iMac uh, or Organics um, to to know more? Sure. So um, uh, thanks, first and foremost, Jasper, for the opportunity to talk today. I'm um, looking forward to talking a bit about bakery, a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been in the ingredients industry for 30 plus years. I started out as a uh, as a, a brewer, actually a production brewer, then left that to join the the ingredients world, selling into the food and beverage industry. I ended up um, for 15 years working at Wild Flavors. It was acquired by ADM in 2013, 2012. Um, I ran the UK business for them. I ran the Middle East business for them, and I ran the uh, India business for them over the course of those those years. I was also a product manager for Sweetening Systems and branded myself as Sweet Pete. So I'm actually reasonably good at um, uh, sugar reduction in, in general. A little bit about iMag. I, uh, I went self-employed in 2015. And uh, iMag is one of my clients that I, uh, I, I represent them for the European uh, business. Uh, we have a team of three or four people. We uh, import through Antwerp and uh, we're ready to sell into the European market with our own direct sales, but also with one to taste. Sounds great. Sounds great. It's an interesting uh, uh, product. Um, so <laughs> how do you feel? Eh? So we're discussing also the uh, specifically the bakery industry, uh, but also uh, how people develop their winning protocol and what are important aspects in that. Can you tell us a bit your opinion eh? and then not talking about uh, your latest experience, but uh, we, we hope to tap into your entire history as well, if we may. Okay, so I think whenever you're putting a new product together, um, there are three key parameters. People may say more, but I think three. There's taste, texture, and appearance. Um, and appearance in that is, uh, is, is includes the packaging, but also what the product looks like. And the most important for repeat business is taste. It is the one thing that brings people back if it's a lifestyle purchase or a, a treat, um, it has to taste good as well, you know, and uh, the taste and texture are pretty similar. And we've got some products from Imag Organics that can help with both of those. Uh, the appearance is, uh, is, is what makes people buy something the first time. So the prototype um, needs to look good. Uh, the packaging needs to be right and the proposition needs to be right. But it's the taste and the texture that uh, that brings them back. And the Imag agave inulin and the imag agave syrup can both be used well in the baking sector which we'll talk about shortly yeah so is, is that is that if you look at if you look at the um, the appearance yeah i i think your your observations are spot on eh? i think <clears> if you if you crack those three uh, you have a you have a great chance of of having a successful product right um but if I look at the, uh, for example, the agave uh, syrups, you have them in five different uh, colors. Is that also why you, you you decided to develop those? It's quite an interesting question, Jasper, because we do offer five colors. Um, typically, we sell two, um, uh, and most of them are, uh, are most of the volume is actually the extra light because it gives additional flexibility in the end application especially in beverage you don't want to be adding color to the beverage and and agave syrup is typically used in uh, in in uh, as a retail product like an alternative to honey um for for at home use but but in a b2b environment um it, it's largely used in beverages where you don't want to bring a color or a taste impact the darker the color the more the taste it has a mayard sort of reaction that goes on where you've got the carbohydrate and the protein that naturally creates color. That's what we do when we cook um, onions. It goes down dark brown and gives that that sort of flavor, caramel flavor. So the darker the color of the agave, the more the caramelly like notes. Um, so okay. it has some application in bakery and some uh, as such on a retail shelf when it's purchased as a squeezy bottle uh, for at home use, people quite like the dark one. Um, but the extra light is the one that gives most flexibility. Yeah, so uh, that's that's interesting because 
I was looking at more from a color perspective and you were looking more from a functionality perspective, right? Saying uh, in functionality, the lighter is more, has more end application uh, right. purpose uh, than the, the darker one. And also in taste, it, it impacts. But I think the darker one in bakery brings some, some benefits. Um, but on the whole, uh, I think if I could split the volumes, it'd be 90% we sold would be extra light or light. And about 10% would be of the darker variant. Okay. Okay, and, and, and an important an important point as well, huh? um, and we saw in, in earlier uh, conversations that, that health uh, is, is an important factor, so reduction of calories, um, uh, um, that's, that's an important factor. Now, that's pretty difficult sometimes in the bakery industry because they, uh, if you want to replace sugar, it's a, it's a bulking agent. How, how do you vision that? What, what is your opinion on that? Thank you, Jasper. Yeah, uh, sugar reduction is key. We're all taking more calories than we actually uh, expend We're, with more sedentary lifestyles. So we need to look at our sugar intake and carbohydrate intake. The agave syrup is uh, is well suited to baking um, because it's, uh, it's 1.3, some people say 1.4 times sweeter than um, uh, sucrose, your typical uh, beet sugar or cane sugar that is available. Um, that means you can add less to get the similar sweetness um, delivery uh, and with it being a, a, a very similar calories per gram compared to sugar the agave syrup is a mechanism by which you can reduce calories in your final product however if you reduce the sugar by 30 percent say you need to bulk it out again with something and that's where the agave inulin comes in and the agave inulin brings uh, not just bulking it brings a real functionality to a baked good it has a, a, a fiber claim, if you're adding enough, to, 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 to have a claim of uh, additional fiber or in, includes fiber. It is a prebiotic fiber. This is a, a prebiotic characteristic fiber. It also brings taste, texture in some baked products, uh, uh, a spongier cake, uh, and in biscuits, a crisper, a crisper bite. So we are really quite interested in using a combination of the syrup and the inulin in bake, bakery uh, um, formulations and um, we've done some application work ourselves in the kitchens over in Mexico where we have some recipes we can um, sort of share with with, uh, with your customers that can really give them some guidance on how to implement the, the ingredients into their own end use market product. So it seems eh, that um, the, 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 the products of IMEC can uh, contribute actually to the three points that you were mentioning eh? so it can contribute to taste can contribute to texture if you want to reduce the, the, the sugar content um, and uh, to appearance uh, by choosing the, the right color for the right reason. Um, it, it can help in, in, in appearance as well. It uh, can. There's one other thing that the inulin can do. It cannot replace all the fat, but it can be used to take some of the fat down if that is also of a, a significant uh, interest to the the. Uh, the brand owner um i think it should be because consumers are looking at their total calories not just sugar and and i i, I never figured that but and if you talk about fat reduction is that can you put a, a percentage on that or is it in specific applications that you see that i think we can we can get about 20 to 30 percent fat reduction using uh, inulin i would not like to say whether that's sugar and fat at the same time or one is just fat. So I think the way that anything is that we can recommend some recipes, but always the the application people at the brand owner, they would they would be the ones responsible for what's going on to the shelf. So they'd have to do their own uh, kitchen work and trials and what have you. Hence the prototyping you talk about at the beginning. And we, uh, um, and we would encourage that to occur because that's their, uh, their, their responsibility. They're the best people who know their product formulation. And we would always try and support them technically to, to, to overcome any hurdles that they might find. I am sure that this conversation will spark some some uh, some interest in, uh, in 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 your products. Um, I, I, I'm I'm fascinated by it, um, and 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 seeing the the multiple uh, ways that that the product can can help uh, product developers, uh, but can also help improve uh, healthy healthy products. 
um, is, is just tremendous. Um, if I if I if I picture that back to what we see in 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 on the one to taste platform eh, and when when we interact with our customers, um, we see that if you look at uh, launching new products specifically eh, where we started off with, we see that they typically start uh, pitching to items in the market. Um, and then like an A, B testing, see, okay, which one is, 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 is the most successful one. Um, obviously that requires uh, the flexibility in volume. Um, and I believe that you guys are very much capable in, in, um, yeah, supporting these, uh, these companies in their, uh, in their smaller quantity up to the larger, larger volume, obviously. Um, yeah, so, and I think just to summarize quickly, iMag is available yeah. in Europe. We uh, we import through Antwerp. We uh, we have a uh, smaller packs available for trial purposes. So yeah, or or even um, you know, best to come to one to taste and get the samples from there. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm. And 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 we'll be we'll be working on growing that. Um, Peter, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, it's been a great pleasure talking with you, and uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, in frequent contact. Jasper, thanks for the opportunity once again, and uh, and uh, uh, well, we'll be in touch. And if there are customers that you have that need some technical support, then we'll be there for them.